hier à l'occasion du, voilà, du premier programme. Euh, nous essayons justement de voir euh, les courts-métrages comme une sorte d'extension de possible des codes euh, que l'on présente tout, tout le long de la, de la sélection. Euh, ici, on sera dans un registre légèrement plus narratif que celui d'hier, mais néanmoins euh, expérimental dans le sens le plus large du, du terme. Donc euh, voilà, on espère que vous la serez emporté par les, les formes que, que les cinéastes ont, ont conçues. Et je vous demande justement de les accueillir, à commencer par le réalisateur de Happy New Year, Jim, Andrea Gatopoulos. La réalisatrice de Maria Schneider, 1983, Elisabeth Scobrin. La réalisateur de Bethel, Rudolf Fitzgerald, Lerner. La réalisatrice de Jitterbar, Ayo Akinbade. Et la réalisatrice de Déjeuner et Interlerby, Maite Soule. Maybe this selection is slightly more narrative than the, the previous one, uh, but uh, we try to make them to select experimental in the broad sense of the word. The word. The director of Happy New Year, Jim, and uh, thank you so much for inviting me. It's been uh, intense, I would say. Uh, just a quick story. I was a pro gamer when I was an adolescent, and I used to spend all my day playing video games. Uh, I used to think about this lost time versus the juiciest fruits. These things uh, work very well uh, for me. Thank you, YouTube, for saving me 2,000 euros in psychologist. So I decided to transform uh, this uh, addiction into my Jolly Roger, my, my pirate flag. It's, uh, it's a language that I now find my own. So thank you for being here. And also, since I saw yesterday, many people leave for the q and I want to thank my friends now. Um, I want to thank uh, Marco, my brother and producer, uh, Marco Crispano. I want to thank Horacio Guarino and Marco Santoro for, uh, from Nafi Tusi, which co-produced the film. Uh, Tommaso Barbaro, the sound designer, which is here with us. My dearest friends, uh, Antonio La Camera, Rossella Inglese, for their advices. And uh, my girlfriend, Soraya, <laughs> is here with me. Thank you very much. Um, thank you so much for having me. It is very exciting and a pleasure to feel understood. This is such a um, conceptual film. And I, I do really love talking like those directors about their films. Um, but I, there's just two things I want to say. One is that this film never would have happened during the pandemic over the last two years if it wasn't for my producer, Helen Olive, who's in the audience. Extraordinary. <laughs> Thank you also to the crew who was amazing and did this at the height of Omicron in Paris, um, tolerating my incredibly bad French, which I'm not going to subject you to. And the other, I, what I'll say about the film is, I think the film is about many things, but it's best experienced without information for me. But there is one thing that I'd like to say, which is it's truly about actresses and by extension, um, women, um, and so I need to introduce the actresses who are here because it was a true collaboration. So, Manal Issa, will you stand up? Hello, uh, my name is Rolf, I'm the director of Beben. Um, I have been working with my team on this film since 2018, so quite some time, and um, it has been um, just the most extraordinary experience to be at this festival, and I'd like to very much thank the entire team from the Kansan for all of the tireless work they do behind the scenes to make our participation in this festival so unforgettable. So, thank you, um, and thanks to everyone. In absence, um, the cast and crew that can't be here with us uh, to watch the film today, they contributed so much. I'm lucky enough to be joined by some of the people who were part of the film, the, uh, wonderful cast and crew um, that are able to be with us today. That's Gisela Adelholt, that's Lillian Masbu, and our co-writer and lead actor, Louis Brandt. 
Hi, my name is Ayo Akinbade and I directed Jitterberg. Um, I wrote the idea back in 2017 when I was studying, um, doing my BA in film studies. And over the last few years I've like developed my, my work and I feel like it's great to come back and, and do this as a narrative. It's my first narrative short. Um, I want to thank Directors Fortnite for believing in me and inviting me to Cannes and Art Angel for also believing in the project. Uh, I don't know how I could describe this story. I, I think it's uh, multi-layered, there's, there's so much going on, but I think ultimately it's a young girl called Afini and you follow her emotional uh, journey. And I shot it in Hackney, my hometown, so it's fantastic um, <laughs> for it to be a part. Bonjour, euh, donc moi j'ai réalisé le dernier film qui s'appelle « Des jeunes filles enterrent leur vie ». Je suis très intimidée et en même temps très heureuse d'être ici, donc merci beaucoup euh, à l'équipe de sélection de la quinzaine. Euh, C'est un film, je ne vais pas dire beaucoup de choses dessus, mais vous allez le voir, il a été euh, écrit un peu dans le, dans le tourment euh, et la douleur. Et, euh, et par contre, il a été fabriqué euh, dans l'amour et pour ça je remercie vraiment du fond du cœur toute l'équipe du film qui m'a si bien accompagnée, enfin si intelligemment, mon producteur Ethan Selser et évidemment euh, les, les comédiennes euh, incroyables du film. Voilà, merci. Je suis le directeur du short film uh, title The Young Girls, Young Girls Bury Their Lives. Uh, I'm, I'm intimidated but also delighted to be here. Uh, this film was, was made with a lot of love, so thank you to all the people who contributed with, from the bottom of my heart, especially the, my incredible actresses. It was, uh, of course, a very weird uh, environment to play into. Um, I chose uh, spaces, games that were unsettling uh, because they were too normal, you know? Like, who would ever play a truck driver? and uh, deliver digital trucks in real time. But the game is very popular, there's millions of uh, downloads, it's, uh, it's very unsettling. So what we did with the, uh, with the mise-en-scene was uh, uh, trying to reason to what point of view was the best to tell the story and we chose uh, Morten's desktop. Uh, so it was like uh, the audio and video point of view was like the recording of uh, the output of the computer. Um, because we felt it was, uh, it was the best uh, point of view for the story, uh, not to mix, uh, you know, uh, a Jim's uh, computer point of view in, in a way uh, that allowed me to uh, put more in, at the center of the film. Because what I wanted to tell was um, his, uh, his need for a company, uh, and uh, so I needed, I needed him to be alone on a desktop, which was, uh, this was, uh, I think, the only way to, to, put, to do it in some ways. <laughs>